Hey guys, it's Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com. It's available, it's out, it's ready to go. The jailbreak for iOS 4.3.1 has been released. As you can see on my iPhone 4 here, I'm running 4.3.1. Um, so this jailbreak is compatible actually with any device that's capable of running iOS 4.3.1. That includes the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, um, the Apple TV, uh, even the iPad 1. Now the iPad 2, although it can run 4.3.1, is not compatible with this jailbreak. I'm using a Mac, so this is a tutorial for a Mac. I'll try to have a Windows tutorial um, in the near future as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I just want to let you know if you need the firmware um, or if you need Red Snow or even Ponage Tool, you can download it from our download section here at jailbreakmovies.com. There will be a link uh, to the download. Um, you can see here I have, I'm using an iPhone 4, so here's the iPhone 4 firmware for 4.3.1. Now, if you've already updated um, to 4.3.1, you've already you know, upgrade it to the latest firmware using iTunes and you should already have this downloaded on your Mac as well and I'll show you that here in a few seconds. So once Red Snow version 9.6 release candidate 9 is downloaded onto your desktop you just want to open that up. You should see three files there. You should see the app for Red Snow. Just open up Red Snow. Now it's going to ask you to browse for your IPSW or your current firmware and like I said that should already be downloaded if you've already upgraded um, to iOS 4.3.1. If not, you can go to jailbreakmovies.com, download that firmware, and you should be good to go. So now we just want to locate our firmware. You just want to click on Browse. Now this firmware is actually going to be located in your um, your library, and then you should see a folder that says iTunes, and then you should see another folder for iPhone software updates, and then the last item in there should be all of your firmware. Now I only have one here since I've uh, restored uh, my computer recently, but you should see iPhone um, 3 comma 1, that's for iPhone 4, but the main thing you want to pay attention to is the 4.3.1 here, which this is for the iPhone 4, this is the firmware for 4.3.1. So you just want to double click on that, it's going to process here, you should see IPSW successfully identified, that's a good thing, you want to go ahead and click next. Very familiar to anyone who's used Red Snow in the past, so it shouldn't be anything new to um, those of you who have jailbroken with Red Snow in the past. You'll see four options here. Just make sure the first option is checked, install Cydia. Once that's checked, just click next. Now here's where I like to do things a little differently. You want to go ahead and put your iPhone in the, into DFU mode. I do have a tutorial that shows you how to do that, and you can access it right here below. So just click this tutorial if you're not familiar with DFU mode or how to get your iPhone into DFU mode. Otherwise, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so my iPhone should be in DFU mode now. You should see just a black screen. Make sure your sync cable is plugged in. And then right here on Red Snow, you can go ahead and click Next. And then it should just go through the jailbreak for you. And there you go. And this usually takes about, you know, about five minutes to complete. You should see uh, this logo here on your iPhone. Alright, and you'll see all that scrolling text. And now here on your uh, Mac, cut. So here on your Mac, you can go ahead and click on Finish. Um, you're done with Red Snow, just click Finish. And you actually won't even need this again. Since this is an untethered uh, jailbreak, there's no need to, to keep Red Snow unless you just happen to want to keep it on your, on your Mac. Okay, so now you should just see familiar text here. It may take a little longer on your device since I've jailbroken already on my iPhone. I already had it installed but it'll basically just be a few more minutes longer than what I'm showing you here. Okay, so you're back up to your home screen. You can just go ahead and enter your password, your passcode. 
Okay, so you can see we're back up to our home screen. You just want to swipe over, and there you go. There is Cydia, um, and we're running again on iOS 4.3.1. So you have all the benefits of Cydia. You have all the benefits of jailbreaking combined with all the benefits of the latest Apple firmware. Things like AirPlay for third-party apps, a faster Safari browser, things of that nature. So it's a great thing to have a jailbreak for iOS 4.3.1 makes things a lot easier and really it's the best experience you can possibly have with the iPhone. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you uh, read our description, uh, comment uh, on the comments below, and make sure you visit our post on jailbreakmovies.com. We'll have some additional comments there as well. Again, this is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.